5,000 meter Olympic champion Vivian Cheriot is looking to defend her 10,000 meters world title at next year's World Championships. Now, the Rio gold medal was the highlight of the 33-year-old's 2016 season, as it was her first Olympic title. In an interview with CCTV's Celestin Karune, she speaks about beating the all-conquering Almaz Ayana of Ethiopia and what next after Rio. After the 10,000 in Rio, I did my personal best. But uh, you know Ayana, sh she was in top shape. So I was thinking that maybe she's going to to win also in 5K. I was asking myself that uh, uh, what Ayana is doing that I'm not doing. That, is, that was my question because what I was doing in training, I was doing good training, but um, after I crossed the line, I said, I thank God. Because I remember in 10,000, I was crying a little bit and I say, what every time when it's time for Olympics, I never get any medal, in, especially cold. And I say, one day, one time, I'm going to get it. Looking at the results out of Rio, you graduated a silver and a bronze to a gold and a silver. Did you always feel in the course of your career, especially running on the track, that you were in the shadow of Ethiopia? Because I, th I think in the past it used to be the, the question was either Masaret Difa or Tirunesh Dibaba. Now, when you went to Rio, the question was Alma Zayana. Can you beat Alma Zayana? Did you feel like this was the m you needed to prove something as Vivian? Yes. You know, most people, they, so they normally say somebody is unbeatable. There is no, nobody is unbeatable. Everybody is beatable. It reaches a time. I remember when, when I was uh, running a Kenya Semester Defar in Osaka 207. You know, I was like, she's, she's unbeatable for sure because it was I was coming up slowly by slowly. So when we did the Osaka World Championship, she was strong. And when she went to the last 400, I didn't... I didn't struggle because she's a champion, she's a Olympic, I don't know, Olympic champion. At the Olympics, there was, it was also a very um, important moment for Kenyan women. What we are seeing now is that uh, Kenyan women are slowly making their mark. It's o it has always more often than not been about the men. What is it that the women are doing right? Uh, most of the women who are running court, especially who are married. I think if somebody is married and it's stable, Wherever she is, she's going to do it. And uh, if I see long time ago, we used to train as women only. We, we were training as women, but nowadays, at least when you are training, you have to have a pacemaker, a man pacemaker. is going to push you. you. You've been more content, it seems to me, that you want to win your championships, you want to win if it's your, your, your diamond races or, or you know, your golden league meets when they used to be the golden leagues. But you've never really been an athlete who goes out there and tries to you know, chase that world record. Uh, why is that? Well, sometimes if you want to chase a world record, you cannot get the good people to, to pace for you. I, I tried in 2011 or 2010, I don't remember. I tried in Monaco, the time I did 14, 20. But you know, if you don't get um, a good pacemaker, you can get a pacemaker to up to 1,500 and still you are going for 5,000. You, you know, it's very difficult to run by yourself the rest of the 4K or 3.5K. So maybe in future I'll try to chase the road, road races. Paul Tergat uh, is one of the people who has been a big champion, even Haile Gabriel Selassie of saying, um, it is better for athletes to start running on the track and then graduating to the road. Do you agree with this philosophy of, of athletics? Yes, I, I agree because, you know, if you if you see most of the athletes, there is some they can go for two races early because maybe track is competitive. They cannot uh, get anything because you have to run to hunt something. And for me, for sure, I don't encourage people to go to road races or marathon early. Finally, let us talk about an issue that uh, we have seen come to the rise in the last probably five years in, in Kenyan running, and that is doping. How do you feel about all this? Of course I feel annoyed because, uh, you know, if, if somebody is caught in, uh, in Kenya, they cannot see that person that is, is the doper. They will see all Kenyans are, are, are doing the same. So it's so painful sometimes because if they say somebody is, is doped and he or she are, he has pumped and and, y you know, it's painful if you are not using something and then they'll say all Kenyans are using it.